Today's episode is proudly brought to you by Tackle World, BoatSales.com.au and Third Income Sheds. afternoon, I'm fishing the Hawkesbury River, New South Wales. This is Wayne Mulloway and it's now Wayne, you are Mr Mulloway, New South Wales. Do you think you deserve that title? Because I believe you are an absolute gun. Mate, I do my best and I'm going to show you why they call me Mulloway. That's what I like to hear. Mr Mulloway, wait till you see the crane fish this dude produces. To Mulloway and beyond, Buzz Lightyear! Well, if you want to catch Mulloway, it is all about fresh bait. These baits were all caught today. Beautiful yellowtail scad or yakas, some magnificent little arrow squid, and this guy here, a tailor. That tailor is over a kilo. We caught it earlier. We've butterflied it, and believe it or not, that tailor is going on for bait very soon. Stay tuned. Okay, what's really important when you, you fish for dew is a really good setup for your rod holders. What we've got here, we've got three rod holders, different angles, one there, one down the middle, and one out wide. We don't want to get tangles. The last thing we want to do is be bringing up a bait all tangled. And I like the rods to be about 30 degrees to the water, so when the fish do buckle, they don't feel anything until that hook is set. Lighter rod. Yep. There's something on there. Wait us. Snoozers and losers, mate. Wait, that's my rod. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, you went up the front to get yet another picnic, mate. So I just thought I'd do the right thing and catch a fish for you. There's a bit of weight there, eh? Oh, there's oh, some. Mate, oh, how's those head shakes? Look at that. Under the boat. Oh. What have we got here, Paul? That, that is a solid fish, unlike here. I'll give you the tip. I just have to up the drag a bit. Oh, how's the bend in this rod? How's the power? Oh, come on. It's a solid fish. Oh, it's a dewy. Look at that. That is a magnificent fish on the little rod. Tiny little bit of squid. How cool is that Look for a that fish? Look at that placement. Wowee. Mate, you're in charge, Wayno. You all right? Yeah, mate. Good work. Nice dew fish. How's that for a cracker? Mate, I know they're not particularly nocturnal species, but how good do they look in the dark with oh. the lights showing those oh. silver crown scales? Beautiful, beautiful fish, Paul. Now, I assume at this sort of size, you're talking a fish probably three, four, five years of age? Yeah, three, four years, definitely. And would you assume that this is a spawner? Maybe. He might be just starting to spawn now. Yep. So, yeah, he's about that size, 70 centimetres. Sensational. It's a really important fish that this goes back in the river because that's an adolescent fish. It's the future of the fishery. This is just so cool. The purple hues, those beautiful spots down the lateral line. Dewfish, you can catch them anywhere from one metre water to 200 metres of water. They go into the fresh, in the estuaries, on the reefs, in the ocean. They're special fish, aren't they? They are beautiful. We'll put this back before we head back to the houseboat and have some tucker. Tell your mum I want to go on a date with her. I promise if I catch her, I'll let her go. 
Oh, let it, lots of tide there. Look at that dorsal fin sitting erect. Those beautiful spots, come on. Mate. Oh, and away it goes, look at that. That is a sensational thing to see, a magnificent mulloway swimming free. I love catching them, but that rocks my boat. It's a good fish, Paul. That's solid. Now, I reckon this fish has been playing with some of our baits, eh? For the last five minutes. Yeah, we've literally been fishing for about five minutes. Now, Wayne. That's the first baits in the water, Paul. Hands up who slept in this morning. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Oh, oh, that looks like it's gonna go too. And we literally got here a little bit late, but we weren't too worried because the tide was still looking pretty good. And uh, first rack of rods, mate. First rack of rods, Paul. It just went. I literally struggled to get out of the rod holder, and this is such a cool thing to come and do. Mulloway fishing on the Hawkes River, New South Wales. It is just so epic. And every time, every time I've driven over a piece of water like this, I've dreamt that I might one day catch a mulloway. And this is a solid fish, mate. Lots of head shakes there. Yes. Look, this is a fish of a lifetime, Paul. You must take your time. Yep. And if you don't panic, really the only thing that can go wrong is the hook can fall out. Really, definitely, definitely. So it's just about taking your time and enjoy the moment. For me, we were just discussing, for us, the greatest moment of our life, apart from sharing time with our family, of course, is when we're standing up with a bent rod in our hand, isn't it? Definitely, Paul. It is the highlight of our life, so why rush it? Just enjoy the moment, feel every head shake, take your time. Because if you take your time and don't panic, there's a much greater chance you're gonna catch a beautiful fish. Now this thing, it's got a bit of weight to it. Yeah, another nice fish, Paul. Bloody oath. Solid weight. Oh, I just love these things. Now do you think that's the head shake or the tail? That's, that's his head shaking. Yep. And obviously get, trying to get his head back down. Yep. With his tail whip. Mate, there's, there's my shock tippet. So I actually ran about eight foot of shock tippet on this. So yep. we've got mono down to our leader. I'm just gonna touch that drag back a touch. There's still some big head shakes here. Look at the bend in that rod. This is such a lovely bit of gear. Shimano Stella 8000 salt water. And I've got it on a Shimano PW DNA Nano Pelagic Series rod. I love these rods. And this is Finn's 40G braid, 65 pound. Fantastic because you can fish smaller reels, but still get plenty of capacity. Now, where's this fish? Oh, another line wrapped around Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that for a beautiful fish. Oh. That big tail just going thump, thump, thump. There's my easy rig, mate. Look at that fish. Oh, yes. How good is it when your fish hardly fits in the net, Wayne Oss? That's <laughs> nice, Paulie. Look at the colours. Oh, look at the colours in that early morning light. Check that fish out. Look at that. That is a magnificent New South Wales Mulloway. Now, the time I've spent chasing these fish, mate, that is, I'll say it's gold, but seriously, that is a chromed up bar of silver. Gonna get him out of the net, I'm gonna show you this incredible fish. I love when a plan comes together. You thought my heart was pumping when I had my coffee earlier this morning. Well, it's pumping now. <laughs> Wainos, seriously, I get excited about fish, but this thing makes me just, oh, I'm tingling all over. How's the colours in these fish, Wayne? Mate, they're a beautiful looking fish. I don't think there's a prettier fish in the river, Paul. People know you as Mulloway. People who have known you for years don't even know your real name. Yeah, unfortunately. Why do Mulloway float your boat? Tell me, tell me now. Because look at them, they're a beautiful fish, Paul. How can you not love catching these fish? That's amazing that these guys terrorise brim, tailor, all the small fish in the river. Apart from bull sharks, these are probably the apex predator of these systems, aren't they? Well, I caught a, um, a big Jew with a 40 centimetre flat in it. That is unbelievable. Well, if you live in Melbourne, the Yarra River, if you live in Perth, the Swan, if you live in New South Wales, all these estuary systems, they hold massive mulloway like this. 
get out and give it a go because seriously, one of the greatest things you will ever, ever do is catch a mighty Jew. This boating and fishing tip is brought to you by boatsales.com.au. When you go fishing, it's always important to stick to the plan. I know so many people go out with one plan or goal in mind, and something happens, oh, we'll do that, we'll try this, and they lose sight of their objective. Today, we're fishing off St. Helens with the Hammersleys, and we are fishing for Mako Sharks on fly. That was our goal. So we didn't put a bait out at all. We literally burly, waited till we sighted the fish, then cast the fly. Would have been so easy after an hour to get bored, put some baits down, accidentally hook the fish, and then I wouldn't be living this dream. And seriously, when this thing launched, one of the coolest things I've ever seen. If I didn't stick to the plan, it wouldn't have happened. This fishing embrasure was brought to you by boatsales.com.au and one very acrobatic fish. Just taking a good look at my rods here, and this rod, ooh, a little bit of bite in the middle there. The rod on the far, ooh, bite there too. Rod on the far left is sitting really high in the water. What's happened is a big jellyfish, or they call them blubbers here, has come through and hit the line. And these big jellyfish are moving through all the time. So you've got to be able to distinguish the difference between a bite, which is happening there, and a blubber, which is like a slow pull. If you get blubbers on the line, wind it up, get back in again, because it'll actually lift you up off the bottom, and all the fish you want to catch are right down in that benthic area. I've got myself a smaller outfit here with a uh, nice little squid head, smaller hook, smaller line. We're going to try and find out what's down here, pecking all our baits, and hopefully we can get that nice bycatch. Yes, Polly, I'm on. Polly, Polly. Good work. On the light gear. Yeah, this is nice little squid head on this one, bud. Good work. Mate, how's the bend? Oh. It's not blubber, is it? Mate. No, uh, no, I've, no got cut little, I've got to cut little kicks on this for sure. That ain't blubber. Oh. And how's that? They have an old saying that elephants do eat peanuts. That's just little squid head, Paul. That's Tiny all I put squid on head. it, mate. Oh, Wa yeah. Ooh, Wayne literally decided to put down a lighter outfit. We've got 10 pound braid, oh. 40 pound leader instead of 60, and a oh. tiny little VMC circle. That's a, a tiny squid. hook too, Paul. Mate, what do you reckon? Maybe a big flatty? Oh. There's, There's some, some weight, weight in there. It. There's a lot of weight in it. A lot of weight. It's actually a bit of dead weight at the moment. What do you reckon? Oh, mate, I'm hoping. Oh, I'm hoping it's a species that we want, mate. I'm hoping it's a Jew. It's hanging its head Here down. It oh, it's oh, a Jew. It's a, it's a big <laughs> Jew on a small bait. That is crazy, mate. Let me sneak. Oh, look at him. Let me sneak in. A mulloway on the ultralight gear. That is awesome. And as they say, elephants do eat peanuts. Look at that fish. Oh, man. That little circle hook has literally just pin that fish in the corner of the jaw. With this current, I'll be able to do this. Excuse me. And Wainos, welcome to the party, mate, on light gear. Yeah, like, that's my biggest fish on such light rod. Really? Yeah, I've never caught one that big, mate. And do you often put a light rod out? Because I'm a big advocate for it. It's fun. Uh, yeah? Yeah, it's fun. So I'm happy I'm happy to throw out a nice light rod. Whether you get a flathead or a Jew this size, it's, uh, it's rewarding. Well, we were looking for bycatch. What we caught was a magnificent mulloway. How cool is that? And look at that. The moral of the story here, you don't have to use big hooks to catch big fish. A small hook will still catch a small fish, but a small hook will also catch a big fish. And that, I've got to say, is one big and beautiful fish. Well done, Wainos. Thank you, Paul. I am loving your work. OK, we're going to release this nice little dew now in the water. Oh. Paul, that is what I live for. Mate, you're in big trouble, because here comes the fishing police. I think they knew your fishing licence was due. We know what you'd rather be doing. We know what you've really got in mind. We know you'd rather be out fishing. And today's the day you're gonna wet a line. Cos every day's a good day. Stop wishing. Every day's a chance to drift away. Drift away. Every day's a good day for fishing. See you down at Tackle World today. I 
I'm down at Tackle or Mornington. It is buzzing. People are going fishing. That's what I like to see. I'm going to run you through a brand of pliers and accessories that are just mind blowing. Frishy was designed by artists with strength and agility in mind, and this range of tools will do everything you need to do when it comes to fishing. And there's a couple I really want to point out because they are mind blowing. Firstly, you've got the rust free range. Literally, they are rust free. Just a little bit of care, and they will last forever. They will do everything you physically need to do in every application when it comes to every fishing need. You've got your bent nose, long, short, wire cutters. Seriously, you want to crimp, you want to cut, you want to pull hooks, they will do it. I love the nightlife. They have all these same features, but they literally glow in the dark, so you can always find them. And then I always say, it's great to see things in a packet. When you're using yourself, you really know how good they are. The best pair of pliers, unconditionally, I've ever used in my life are these things here. The Black Shark, aluminium, lightweight, that cutter there will actually cut four pound braid and wire, and every time you close them, even after a thousand times, they feel exactly like they did the first time. Seriously, get your local tackle store. Check out Frishy. They are mind blowing. Put a pair on your belt, guarantee you'll love them just like I do. To find your local tackle store, get to tackleworld.com.au. Tackle World stores are owned and operated by locals who actually fish. Their advice is priceless, that's why it's free. At Tackle World, every day is a good day for fishing. The question that everyone always wants to know the answer to, what is the biggest mulloway you've ever encountered? Yeah, Paul, biggest 38 kilo, maybe two years ago. I'd love to beat it one day, but I think I think it'll be hard. That is a mammoth fish, but nearly as big as you, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's about 1.6, it was, it was a big fish. When you're bait fishing, I think it's really important not to put all your eggs in one basket. This is an octopus bait, and the reason I'm using it is that it'll hang on the hook for a long time. If they come through and eat all the other baits, all the pickers, I know this is still gonna be out there with a chance of catching a fish. Also important to note too, see that VMC 80 octopus? It is literally hanging right in the back of that bait. No need to hide it. No mulloway is gonna swim up and go, oh, there's an 80 octopus from Paul Westing's Tackle World Cram, and it's just gonna go, yum, there's lunch, kabang, all over. Something on here, Paulie, again. And the nice light gear. You're the master of lightness, mate. And we're not even at the good stage of the tide yet. Ah, Flat or roll. small dew? Small, small oh, dew. There must is... be so many of these out there, Paul. That is so cute, though. That is such a great sign. The river is definitely alive and well. OK, little mate, I'm going to let you go. But go and tell your dad to come and say hello. Beautiful. What do you reckon, mate? I'm not sure, mate. Um, I've just got weight. Look at this. Look at the bites I'm getting here. I've got weight. It's been playing for like five minutes. Yep, yeah, there's weight there. There's weight. Oh, there's weight. Oh, and I've got head shakes. I don't know. What, what do you reckon, Wayne? Mate, I'm hoping. Yeah. And what have we wanted all day? Well, it's not a mulloway, is it? We've wanted a nice big flatty. You reckon we're a chance? Mate, on that, on that nice bit of uh, octopus. It's it's staying down. That's our Oh, look at that. Oh, look, it's got big head shakes. So I don't reckon it's a toothy. He's not taking a run, but. We've been hoping for the bycatch of a big flatty. He's coming up, Wayne. That could be sharky, eh? Yeah, let's hope it's not oh, a shark. Oh, he's coming up. Oh. We've got a bit of color, Paul. Oh, look at the size of this frog. Look at the size of that! Oh my god, Paulie! It is a monster flathead! Get the net! Look at that! Please don't fall off! Please don't fall off! Please don't fall off! He's keep coming, him, mate! Keep him down He's low! Coming. He's coming! He's coming! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my, my god. god! Look at that for a flathead! That <laughs> is, for me, just drop the net down. For me, that is even better than a mulloway, seriously. That thing's got a Malakuta postcode on its back. Look at the size of that for a flathead. Oh, my, I'm going to try and pick him up. Look at that. Don't jump and buck too much, mate. Oh, whoa, 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 OK. Oh, whoa, 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 OK. I'm going to get a cloth. I'm going to pick this beast up. Flathead, Hawksbury, yeah, baby! 
Wayne, I just measured this guy. 85 centimetres of flathead as a bycatch. What's the biggest you've seen in the river? Yeah, metre 10. But this is a this is a very good flathead. That is just mind blowing. Seriously, what a day in the Hawks with those Mulloway blown my mind. And this big flathead, for me it's a prize catch. I just love these guys. Do yourself a favour, come to the Hawkesbury. If you get a chance, follow this guy on Twitter because he knows he's fishing. Wayne, I just want to say thank you, it's been amazing. It's been awesome, I've loved every minute of it, mate. Mr Mulloway might have to change his name. Put a flathead in there too. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube for everything iFish TV. And don't forget our website, iFishTV.net. Well, these massive flathead are such a pleasure to catch. So important these big girls go back because they are the future of the fishery. Keep the small ones, let the big ones go. They are just unbelievable. Head in the current. Hope I see you again someday, mate. You are just unbelievable. Look at that. Oh, that's mad. Seriously, one of the greatest things I could ever see. Now, Wayne, I normally don't hug men. I'll make an exception. Today's episode is proudly brought to you by Tackle World, Boatsales.com.au and Fair Income Sheds.